Hello everyone, this is Invisible King here, and the first thing I would like to say is if you want to see the Dawnbreaker part of the clip, you can skip to 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Anyways, after that, uh, I will leave that in the description. Uh, let's get this started. Uh, now, both of these clips, uh, the Dawnbreakers were recorded after the Mace. This was recorded roughly March 2018, uh, so it is fairly recent. Um, I believe that there were other clips, uh, one or two of this on YouTube, but... I don't know, I just wanted to upload it myself, I went through the effort and uh, I finally just wanted to get this off my plate. So in order to do this, you need to, and I don't know why I was taking so long to do, save file. Uh, when he gives you the must, the rusted mace, sorry, um, log ball, once he gives it to you, you just walk out of the house, you can go to any weapon rack anywhere, uh, I just chose white run, no, I you remember. can go to the Lakeview Manor, you, you can go anywhere, and you can just place the mace on the weapon rack, because it won't normally let you take it out of your inventory, but with the weapon rack, you can get that glitch. And you just fast travel back. I apologize, I'm just doing it in full real time just to show you that, you know, I didn't edit any of this or use any console commands. I'm playing on the PS4, unmodded. Um, well, so yeah, there's that. And yeah, you basically just take him out normally, and then after the end of this clip, uh, you will see the... I get to keep the maze. I actually messed up and went through the wrong door. Um, that quick save was just to make sure, uh, in case if it got rid of it, it uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's basically it for the maze. Nothing too complex, you literally just walk outside again, and you walk back in, and you can kill him with any weapon, it actually doesn't matter whatsoever. I wanted to level up my magic, I don't remember what level I was. Uh, I believe I was lower than level 50 when I was doing this quest. Um, anyways, other than that, that's basically it. And I will continue the commentary at the Dawnbreakers. You call that a, a swing? Hey! No more. No more. I submit more like ball. <laughs> I submit. You bend to me? Yes! You pledge your soul to me? Yes! You forsake the weak and pitiful Boethia? Yes! You're mine now, Logros. Kill! The mace of Molag Bal. I give you its true power, mortal. When your enemies lie broken and bloody before you, know that I will be watching. Know your place, mortal. Or Molag Bal may just send another champion to claim his mace from your broken corpse. Okay, now the first thing I want to say is the original uh, Dawnbreaker clip where I actually have the gameplay. I don't know if the data got corrupted or... I don't recall deleting it, I just didn't actually happen to find it, but I just wanted to get this video out there or whatever. In order to do this, when you do the quest in order to get the Dawnbreaker, uh, I can't recall the name currently, uh, once you defeat the Shadow Boss, it's actually very simple. The only thing 
you need to do is where the altar is, the weapon rack, whatever you want to call it, it, it's not a weapon rack, it's a fancy like altar thing, where the dawn blade is, um, the dawn breaker, I keep saying dawn blade, uh, my apologies, where the dawn breaker is, if you look around on the ground, you can see that there is a dawn breaker on the ground, you can pick that up, and then when you click um, the action button, mine's just X on the PlayStation 4, it will take you out of the dungeon, and you will get a second dawn breaker. So, yeah, that's basically how you get it after you kill the boss. Instead of just just quick save when you get to the final boss, you can tell it's the final boss. Um, he's not that tough to defeat. And then just look at the ground right before the shining altar, and you'll get the dawn breaker. And then you click on the shrine again, and you'll get the second one. And then the god or whatever will tell you the stuff, and then you get both of them. That's pretty much it. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.